I know. Let's go. Get him, William. You should give him a rucksack. I'll give him a rucksack. All right, I filmed all that anyway, so that's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. We just tried right. to. Uh, we just tried to now come on the. We just tried to, try to come onto the coast, but they haven't allowed us. So right now we're making our way to the pool. So that, so that, so that. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Now we're turning the. We're trying to make our way to the pool. We're the so <laughs> next obstacle, regroup with the convoy. We've seen him. They're heading to the port. They'll probably try and get him into the port. Well, we do our best. Yeah, yeah. Hey, brothers, come on. I'm with the convoy. Good to see you, brother. Brother. How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, not bad. How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Man, we gotta get you. Alright, we need to Good to see you, brother. So, we still try. We've got our, our group, the rest of our group, just on the other side here. So close. How far? Who knows? But uh, we we hope to regroup with them now. Finally. Yes. Take the take a taxi. You cannot by security reasons. He said only the names came to the airport will arrive will go in advance. But take a taxi and behind us to Rafah entrance. You can go before us. You can go before or after. Right. Is this broken promises or do we actually get to join? Our convoy after all this. Shall I tell you something? Where's the taxi man? <laughs> what is it? I think yeah, Where's the we taxi? should get these guys to stop for Let's petrol call. somewhere and that's just easy to get into any one of the vans. So the uh, <laughs> the three of us, the three fugitives, the kidnapped fugitives, the you convoy fugitives, fugitives, we've managed to jump onto C bus, C1, and uh, okay, thank you. And uh, while well, the Egyptians are just playing more and more games and we we just want to rejoin the convoy, <laughs> it seems a bit of a problem. I don't know why, but uh, it's Egypt. So the next obstacle for us will be uh, getting to Rafa. Hopefully we get through in the middle ground. Shukran, brother. Shukran, brother. Shukran, brother. Shukran, shukran. He's got a ghost to me. Thank you, brother. Crazy, 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 crazy. Are we gonna make it to Gaza? I don't know about us, the three of us, but uh, looks good for the rest of them. I've got more rocky now, but uh, we're okay. Here. Jesus Christ, hang on. Oh. Shukran, 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 brother. Hey, shukran, brother. Yay! Hey! 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 Hey!
It really shows us a Gibson site here. We got through this one. Yeah, that would be good. Now checking passports, right? Oh, oh let it be, you. let it be. Let's get into Gaza, all of us together. Just yeah, about really to enter through the gate. Oh, man. Oh, how good to return. How good to return. Hello, hello, hello. So here we sit at the uh, Rafa crossing at the border here, and as per usual, the Egyptians are playing some nice games. Uh, we were, all of us were given as uh, names on the list to come to uh, Gaza, and the Egyptians, uh, as they do, prohibited people from coming, including brothers and sisters who were on the Mavi Marmara. For whatever reason, they didn't put me on that list, uh, and they didn't put uh, two other brothers who were kidnapped from Libya to Greece, and um, we were approved to go. Here we are now, we've managed to get back with the convoy and uh, the Egyptians are playing their games. This is uh, the Egyptian Mavi Marmara equivalent, although um, it appears as if, uh, you know, at the end of the day the convoy is going to get in. Of course, we're all happy for that, but we'd all like to get in. We're missing some of our brothers and sisters who should be here. They came at the invitation of the Palestinians, not the Egyptians. If it weren't for a land blockade, we would have been here a long time ago. The Egyptians are still enforcing the land blockade and they're still making problems for people who are trying to help out the Palestinians. I know for a fact that those of us, myself included, and my two other brothers who are being denied right now, are wanted in Gaza. That's our family over there, but at the same time we have the Egyptian collaborators who are working with the Israelis to prevent people who care about the people of Palestine from getting in. It's par for the course. All the while the Egyptian media is asking us three, four times the same question, what about the Egyptian reception? The Egyptian reception is like an Israeli reception without guns so far. They got guns. <laughs> so we see if they use the guns next. <laughs> hey VIP, hello. Hello VIP, bow down, I'm the king. Bow Congo to Gaza. Red carpet. Red, red carpet, bow Congo, Gaza. What's this? You hear me? Here's another VIP. This is Here's them showing us that they're treating us good. But they're not letting us go into Gaza even though we weren't on the band list. All right. Yeah. So Nicholas. Right here, right here, that's me. On the Egyptian border, Egyptian VIP. Indeed, indeed. So we make we make it to Gaza, the long, long, long road to Gaza. And the only reason why all of us are making it is because we stood together long enough. Ah. Trust me, we'll come in again. 
by C, brother. Oh my god. I remember this place two years ago. Played handball, played handball right here with Hamas two years ago. Rode a horse right here. So, uh, a quick update. There's a quite a bit of footage from uh, the Egyptian side uh, and uh, interesting footage and I'll be trying to put something together. Of course, we've just arrived in Gaza last night and uh, words simply cannot describe how it feels to be back here. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes. I feel like this is my home more than any other place and uh, I don't know if I can speak for myself. It just feels such a blessing and uh, really want to make the most of this time. We had problems on the Egyptian side as per usual. Uh, those of us who were kidnapped and taken to Greece, uh, most of us were not able to make it back in, in to, uh, to meet the convoy and uh, some of us, three of us actually managed it. And we got to Egypt but they would not let us regroup with the convoy at the airport or at the port. And uh, we had to push and push and finally what we had to do was jump in the vans as they traveled from uh, the port at El Arish to Rafa. Once we got to Rafa, they let us all in through the gate into Rafa crossing and uh, over the course of several hours uh, it was determined by the Egyptians we were not going to be allowed through the three of us, including myself. And um, because we stood firm, quite frankly, because people remained steadfast, we managed to all of us get in and uh, had it not been for that we simply would not have all got in and of course the mission was always the most important thing but I can't deny the fact that I, I wanted badly to get in you know obviously being on the Mavi Marmara I thought we would get into Gaza back then it didn't happen and uh, coming this time to be 200 meters from Gaza and not make it was really painful to think about it but as it turns out uh, what a blessing uh, when they said okay you all go to go as the, the final complete unit that we had. We had many, including uh, Laura and another uh, brothers from Ibrahim who were on the Mavi Marmara who were not allowed in. Um, I feel for them and they're with us in spirit. This is wrong. Anyone who is invited by the Palestinians to come to Palestine has a right to be here. And uh, blocking them is just not acceptable. So this needs to change. But for now, focused on positive things. Uh, I have a project that I'll be announcing soon and I look forward to showing that to the world because it is the most powerful plan yet in my opinion to really break this blockade and at the end of the day that is number one task. This blockade must end and it, it really is a matter of when not if we're going to break this blockade so I make the most of my time here and uh, build on the connections and uh, family that I have and uh, well I look forward to sharing more with you over the next month that I plan to be in Gaza. Thank you.